All right, so now I want to add some black stuff. So I've got my black layer here. I've added my, my decals. I'll need to drop this down in a moment, but I want to just kind of show something before we get there. I've re-imported all of my my masks here, my alphas, uh, with the word tutorial in front of them, so they're real easy to find. And I'm just going to grab this one here that says 216. And we'll get it kind of lined up. So you can see, I guess I'm playing with my flow on accident there. Left and right is flow, up and down is the angle. And I hit click and we don't see anything. And the reason that we don't see anything is because the black layer is underneath the orange layer. So this is it's a good idea if you're going to start doing this kind of thing to just keep an eye that you don't have stuff kind of disappearing or whatever, but you can just move this above. And ideally at this point, we should see what we were looking for. So I'm just going to confirm that this is working as I would expect. I'm going to go to my brushes. We'll grab basic card and I can paint. So clearly it, there was just an issue with my, my stroke there. So let's try that one more time. Uh, tutorial. Go to my alphas. Type that in again. And I will, whoops, get this thing approximately where I had it. Now when you're doing something with, with uh, text like this, you want to make sure that you don't have it on symmetry because otherwise it'll show up on the other side and it'll be backwards. But I can definitely come over here and just add the same thing in more or less the same spot. Another reason why you wouldn't necessarily want to have your edges here, your sides here, to be sitting on the same UVs, because otherwise if you try to, to apl uh, apply your decals using this technique, they'll show up backwards on one side. What I was going to say earlier is you can actually just have a, a plane with a uh, basically alpha is punched out of your textures and then you just cut your your textures out of that plane and then just s scoot them real close to the surface. And the advantage of that is, is you're not limited to whatever the texture resolution happens to be. In this case, we're doing just fine. I'm not worried about this at all. But I do want to make sure that we're inheriting our edge wear stuff. I, I want it to look kind of beat up. And I think I have one of these in here that's going to be fighting it. And I can't remember. So we can just kind of scoot this up until we see it turn off. So it is color selection because this one is, is basically painting that out. So if I wanted to add a little bit more variation to this, it's just a paint layer, so I could very easily just come over with another brush. One of the scratch ones is probably going to be just fine for this. Make sure we're painting black. So I'm painting into my my uh, decal layer, and if that's a little bit too touch and go for you, you can just grab this basic card, make it relatively small, and then you know whatever, hit it out. So it feels a little bit more in line with what else is going on here. Looks like that one's actually a little bit off. Like the, doesn't really seem like this, this distance here is consistent. Like it's a little bit high on one side. No big deal. Maybe we can go with something different actually. Let's, uh, in the alphas, they have all these signs which can be very, very nice. So I'll just go with this one. And for it to be a shock thing, you might expect that on something like a panel back here. So maybe I'll, I'll put this back here. And we should be okay because we put this over the, uh, the white layer too. I've got this line here. So maybe I'll just go inside that line. That feels pretty good. Oh, let me make sure I'm 
painting positive value. And once again, we can come over to the brushes. Uh, let's see whatever basmati rice might work. What we want to be punching out. Yeah, that looks nice. Thanks, basmati rice. Wouldn't have necessarily expected that to be such an easy one, but uh, I think that looks pretty good. So we have a little note there, and since we're back here, let's go ahead and we'll just find. So go to alphas, tutorial. Try this wall mount one. Oh man, always got to try them all before I find the one. Maybe on the side. Looks like I've got some, oh, and my, I, I guess I just overwrote the uh, Basmati rice. Sorry, Basmati rice. Hardly knew ye. So anyway, I'm going to go back to basic card, go to, back to my alphas, tutorial, we've got our wall mount, wall mount, and uh, so what was going on is, it, I just saw it had all this jitter stuff in it, which I know I did not add. So I'm kind of regretting using such a boring font for this. It looks it looks pretty bland. And these things, I mean you would expect them to kind of be the same, but uh, with them being like the same whatever. I mean that wasn't Arial, but it may as well have been. It was pretty bad. Pretty poor choice. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a little white thing over here. So enamel, this, this white enamel is above the orange, so this should work okay. I'm just going to add a paint layer. And we'll just give it a little bit of a rotation, so we're mostly... lined up there. And let me just come back over to my signs. Maybe we can try caution. This might be a little bit too literal, but it might be cool. I just got to lay it down and kind of see what happens. So the black is above the white, so that's why that didn't actually show up, but I, I don't hate it being embossed like that. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to put it in a different spot. And then we can put the same kind of thing over here. And so we start to get some interesting smaller little details that pick up in uh, certain scenarios. So this one I'm not loving. I think it's kind of boring looking, but whatever. Maybe come back and, and find something more exciting to put there. But oftentimes, you know, like over here, it's not really that interesting. It just helps helps the object read as being something where, oh, there was an assembly line and then to keep track of it and there's a part number and whatever else just kind of subtly suggests that whatever the thing is, is real and has a history and all the rest of that stuff that I, I keep harping on. So we're about... Uh, 10 minutes in. I think in the next one I'm going to start talking about emissive. I'd like to put some emissive things in these little slots here. I think that'll be cool. So we will tackle that in the next video.